What's up everybody? Nola Deej here and I'm joined by my son DJ and my good buddy Todd and we're out here at the Louisiana Renaissance Festival. I'm excited. You excited? I'm excited. You excited? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> We have arrived at the Louisiana Renaissance Festival. We've just parked. Let's go inside. I love the entrance to the Renaissance Festival. It's so cool. It's like you're walking through a castle. Kind of like in Disney World. And here we are. We are leaving the world of reality and entering oh, the world of Albright. Every year we come here, we are greeted by this grand wizard. I love this guy. These guys are kicking around some dice on the ground. What are they doing? This is cool. You see? You try to cheat and you still get it too. What do you think it's going to land on? Uh, six. Hey, will you roll that for me? Can you roll that for me? No, don't kick it. I... <laughs> don't kick it. Yeah. My guy. Don't kick it. Yeah. Keep my guy. Yeah. Don't kick it. <laughs> There's no shortage of food places here at the Renaissance Festival. This is just one of many stands located throughout the festival grounds. This particular one has a lot of fried seafood, but there's other places that have turkey legs, jambalaya, uh, you name it, you can probably find it here. All right, here we go. No medley! <laughs> but my friends, inventions, the key. My friends, we have a new weapon. A terrible new weapon. My friends, how are you aware of the medieval weapon known as the cat o' nine tail? Yes, yes. Well, my friends, that's a weapon from the Dark Ages. Please get yourself out of the Dark Ages and into an even darker age of violence. Because now we have, straight from the Venus de Milo small arms factory, it's the Tale of Nine Cats! Right. One tail, nine cats, boom! That's 27 attacks per melee round. So my friends, while I attempt to juggle this extremely dangerous weapon, feel free to make your own cat sounds. High throw. I love that you all know what cats being thrown into the air sound like. <laughs> My people! <laughs> this just gets weirder. All right, here we go. Just do the trick. Sure. Here we go. High throw! High throw! High throw! High throw! High throw. Oh, oh, oh. I point! Yes! Ooh, okay! Another perfect throw! Yeah! Go off to the side, Todd. That's alright, that's fine. Right. <laughs> All right, Bella, anywhere in here is a good throw. This is a bad throw. If you manage to hit Pat, that's actually an amazing throw. <laughs> I mean, it's still bad. We're still a team, Pat. We're still a team. But it would be amazing. <laughs> I point. Yes. Oh, I touched them. I touched them. And now, 
I throw them back. Here we go. It's a pretty Christmas tree out here, all decorated, very festive. That is next to this hat shop here, selling all kinds of different style hats for you to wear. And the next to here is a mask shop with tons of different style masks you can wear. The place is so big, there's so much room to walk around and see things. People are in costumes, there's shops everywhere, food places everywhere. There's so much to see and do at this Renaissance Festival. It's unreal. Now check this out, this is a suit of armor that this place is selling. That's pretty cool. One of the many signs directing you where to go in the festival grounds. <laughs> Oh, uh, do I win something? Oh, absolutely. You gave me money, so you get a consolation prize right now. Okay. But if you pop something, you get better than a consolation prize. Okay, I'm not good at throwing, so don't make fun of me. Oh, darling. Especially with a throw like that, I grew up with siblings. Okay, good. I was worried you were dark shark. That happened sometimes. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you, Renna. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Let's see what you got. Now you gotta wear it all day. All day. Okay. <laughs> all right, give me a good pirate arg. Knives. 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 Okay, YouTube, I will let you know that this kid just said knives. A little off kilter, my lord. Like this? Like Okay. Maybe not like that. Back a little bit. Cause you're hitting the play than just watch. And I think if you back up, it's gonna hit the angle. You know, see. There it Ooh. is. All right, you have one more on me. All right, thanks. Yeah. All right. That was way better. <laughs> Thank you, theory of relativity. Put a little more muscle into it. I, I don't oh, have muscle. muscle. Listen, if you don't stick that hatchet, you're going to fire when ready. Ah, get closer, get a little closer. Ah, give it that same exact throw. That was that was highway robbery right there. Oh! You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Check this out, we have arrived at the Museum of Torture. I am a little nervous going in here. Ready? Yep, I'm so I'm so scared. I'm so spooked. They definitely do not want you to feed the dragon here. Look what can happen like if you do. There. Your head will get chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of interesting things to see inside the Museum of Torture. All different types of torture devices used in medieval times. That is crazy. This guy looks like he's been laying there for quite some time, chained up to this ball and chain. This sort of reminds me of the area under the tree in The Princess Bride, where they were torturing Wesley. 
Now this particular torture device does not look like it would be very comfortable. <laughs> I think this guy lost his head. There it is. Poor guy. Very bloody. Ugh. Here's a chastity belt. I don't think any of us would want to wear that. This poor guy has been sitting in here for quite some time in a very uncomfortable position. That was weird. What'd you think? Yeah, that'd be a terrible time to be alive. I agree. That would suck. <laughs> I, I didn't say hi to the queen, so here I am. What? Yeah, sorry guys. This is one of the shops here. This is Thatcher's Leather Artistry. Pretty long belts. Awesome. Good day. How are you? I'm just fine. How are you today? Good. Making some leather. I'm working on some frogs. Just got done gluing it together, so now I'll stitch it up. Oh, okay. And when that's finished, what will it be? called a frog for holding a sword. There's a similar one on my sword over up there. Oh, okay. So what uh, next stop is cut these slots, cut this portion out, then mount buck uh, little straps and buckles to buckle it around the sword. Okay. This guy made all the stuff in here and these are really cool. This is some leather butterflies that he's got up here on the wall. That's really cool looking. I've been coming to Renaissance Festival since I was a kid, and when I was a kid, I've got these wooden swords and shields, and they still sell them, they still make them. It's incredible to see this, because this brings back a lot of memories from when I was a kid. They've obviously upgraded them now. Now then, your champion has a very noble spirit. He is as strong as a lion, for he is known as a lion of Wales. Your mighty champion's name is Sir Marcus Desmond! <laughs> My friends! Are you prepared to cheer for me? Thank God! I really have to pee right now! <laughs> So maybe I can make this short and sweet. Shut up! All right, on the count of three, everybody say shut up. One, two, three. Shut up! You guys are fun. Both to the 
tower. And we all know what happens to little knights who go to the tower. <laughs> Salute one another! And when you're ready, And I'm headed for the pub You can take the sunshine I can take the moonshine You can take the high road I can take the low Later in the evening The one thing I believe in We're on the road to ruin It's the only way to go Check out these furry little guys Hanging out on the shelf up here All different color hair These guys are cool Magical moving puppets People that work this little stand aren't here, but they're making candles back here. Handmade, homemade candles. I guess you call a candle maker a chandler. I've, I've never known that, but now I do. Every year that we come here, we always manage to miss the kamikaze fireflies, but not today. Today, we're finally going to catch this show. Empty seats down here in the shade. Super comfy. Come on in. And circus applause. Hear 
we go. Exciting. This is more exciting. Are you ready? Ready. Keep that in mind as she holds Yay! the final target. <laughs> Delicate. All right, point those toes, and the uh, the target is a little bit low. Can you uh, can you raise the target? <laughs> oh. True story. True story. We were doing our show a few years ago in Ireland, in Dublin. Casey did that move, and a tiny little four-year-old Irish boy in the back of the audience went, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Ireland, the only place that can make Scotland seem classy. All right. <laughs> She's upside down. She can't say hup anymore. I say hup. All of you respond with a hup. Here we go. Hup, 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 hup. hup. Oh. All right, my beat. Let me try it again. Everybody all together, nice and loud. Hup, 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 hup. You know, I'm just going to give you a little power assist. Stay still, stay still. Do not move, do not move. <laughs> all right. Let's get her out of this very long handstand. We'll get a little bit more fire on stage and finish off this show. Thanks for spending part of your day with us. Everybody all together, nice and loud. Hup, 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 hup. There it is. Good job, Bryce. Good job, Right hand to Link. Turn and face this direction. Keep facing forward, Bryce. Do not turn around. You do not want to see this little man coming at you. <laughs> get ready, get ready. Here we go, here we go. All right, now hold on a sec. You know, <laughs> you have to stop and appreciate this moment, don't you? <laughs> you better believe as soon as I landed on Bryce, some part of him was like, Woo! Hey, hey, this is actually going to happen, isn't it? And it is, Bryce. I'm just coming around here. Let's get up a little bit, And we're going to Lift again. Just a little, just another little lift there, Bryce. Right. Do it again, one more time. Do it again. Do it again. I think this is awesome. Going exactly as, sorry about taking your whole time. <laughs> and that is how you climb a Bryce. And you can't hear him, but I finished climbing him and he said, I need a drink. <laughs> Now here's what is supposed to happen at this point. Casey is supposed to come from backstage on this crazy tall pair of stilts with her own three torches for the big finish to the show. Well, we flew recently to do the show and the airline that we flew on lost our stilts. Oh. That's right, we just had to get creative about what it is she stands on. <laughs> Welcome to Louisiana! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because of pending litigation, we cannot tell you the name of the airline that lost our stilts. But it rhymes with Brunited. <laughs> <laughs> 
actual climbing of the shopping cart. It's the stealing of it from Albertsons. Right, well, she's having some trouble with the cart. Can you go help her a little bit, please? Grab the cart by the handle. Both hands, like it was strong. Both hands, like oh, okay. well, well, Bryce, uh, I'm going to appear you're now in the checkout aisle. Uh, just rotate the cart so that she's back in profile to the audience. There you go. Stop right there. That's good. Now push it forward about three or four steps there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. A little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Stop right there. Stop right there. That's good. Let go like of the cart. Walk back around to the front. Be cool some thoughts. Be cool some thoughts. <laughs> Come around so that you're like face to face with Casey. Come around over here. Yeah, then we're going to get a juggling distance between us now. Look, that's actually pretty good. You now, Bryce, a couple of tips for you. Uh, one of the ways that you can keep your head in the right position, you got to get a nice straight posture. There you go. Look at Casey throughout this thing, and it'll help a little bit because it'll keep your leg, your head against the back of my shin. Uh, so, Bryce, it's about to get harder, but you got this, brother. Hands up in the air. Grab my wrist. Bryce, I'm going to put my right foot on your right shoulder, left foot, left shoulder, and I'm standing up. You ready, big guy? Yeah. Yeah. Push up the position. Oh. 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 Bryce, one at a time. Grab my calves. One at a time. That's good. Great. Squeeze tight. That's great. That's great. Squeeze tight. Give it up for yeah. Bryce, everybody. Yeah. Let's get a rhythmic clap going. Clap, clap. Todd and DJ have managed to get themselves some turkey legs. Is it good? Mm. It's good. It's good stuff. Yeah. I recommend it. How are you coming along on yours? Nice. And Doctor Who has even dropped into the Louisiana Renaissance Festival. We went to sea in the winter of 1649. Well, that's going to do it for us from the Louisiana Renaissance Festival. That was awesome. What'd you think, Todd? Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, DJ? It's pretty epic. What was your favorite thing that you ate? Uh, the turkey leg. Yeah, that was good. Todd? Yeah, same. Yeah. All right, well, hey, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little lanyard. From these Yep, go pass a good time. Oh,